Animal spreader rocket. It's got fish inside. That's wild, man. It's going to spread the fish all over the planet. Cool. Goodbye, fishies. Bon voyage. Hopefully you can survive up in orbit. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to build a feeder uh, for an animal, for, for Fred or Frank. I named him Fred, and then I started calling him Frank in the last episode, and I realized that when I was editing. How you doing, Fred? Fred's really his name, so we're going to call him Fred. Let's pet him. Uh, pet. Oh, nice. We got a genetic trait. What do we get? A species trait. That's a beautiful thing. All right, Fred, we're going to work on getting you uh, something to eat. But um, the thing is, is for the feeder, we need some wheat. So uh, we did buy. We did buy those seeds in the last episode. Uh, so let's go back to actually hold on before we go back. Um, how about if we just put genetic synthesizer? <laughs> let's just put that in there. So that's where it is. Let's go back to our base here and grab those seeds, which should have come back in the rocket here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I guess though they came back sooner rather than later, huh? That's been waiting to do some cloth. Um, all right, we also needed some silk. Let's grab that while the grabbing's good, because otherwise those are going to be used to make um, more cloth. And then the rest of that stuff should be lemon squeezy. Uh, but we need to get some wheat growing. So why don't we, well, we wanted to actually do wheat and cocoa anyways. The thing is those, my guess is that we probably feed the animals things like eggplants and mushrooms and beans and things, I think. That would be my guess. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, Why don't we pick the squash out of those two and the mushrooms out of these two. And then we'll grow wheat in these guys and cocoa in these guys. Um, Because I want to find out first what I feed them before I decide to change uh, or, or remove what we're already growing out at the farm. Because if they if that's what they need is like eggplant and stuff, then we need to keep growing that too. And maybe what I'll do then is I'll I don't know. I have to think about that. Uh, so let's just wait and see what happens first with with the grower. All right, I'm gonna put uh, these seeds back in here. Now we have one too many. There's no room anywhere. Damn it, Jim. I don't want to. I don't want to put another case down, so we're just going to put this stuff in overflow. Um, this stuff can... Well, there's no room in there either. Overflow you go. Into the overflow you go. Um, no room in there either. So you go into overflow. My overflow is just kind of like all over the place right now. Um, why do I have these mutagens? Oh, you know what, too? Um, animal rockets just became available right before I started the recording. And, uh, yeah, animal spreader rocket. Animal multiplier, 1,750%. Wow. Um, what does that take? Let's just go take a look-see and see what it takes to build that. So it looks like any genetic trait, a rocket at Oz and a T4. Okay. Huh, interesting. All right. All right, so I'm going to put the uh, silk in here. And here, let's let's pin that. 
All right, we need some water. And we need a water in here. So we need silk water, a circuit board. A bioplastic and a honey. And we need to we need to change something up with our our honey situation too. Okay, so there's a bioplastic. Um there's a honey right there. Okay, so we have everything we need except for the wheat. So we have to wait for that to finish and then we'll make the animal feeder. In the meantime, uh, let's put the these mutagens back in here. <coughs> I'm trying to remember why I had that stuff in my inventory. Was I going to build something with it? I don't remember. So let's just put it all away and then I'll... Then I'll remember and we'll have to go collect it all again. I'm sure there's probably a reason for it, but I don't remember what it was. Put the rocket launchers in there. Um, did I not? Wait a minute. Did I not just have... I thought I had a thing of food in my inventory. Did I... Put it somewhere. We didn't put it in there. We didn't put it in there. What the hell happened to that thing of food I had? I didn't eat it because my food's not not full. I did something with it. I just don't know what I did with it. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, we'll just go back to the farm and, and grab some more food. Okay, so, um, yeah, we got to deal with the beehive situation, and I think we should probably, we're probably at the point where we could probably use another drone station, too. Let's go back to the food farm for a moment. So, the issue that we were having, I think, is that a pulsar? Oh, it's a super storm. Uh, the issue that we were having is that the, the auto crafter was pulling all the honey out of the beehives and it continued to do that until the beehives filled up with larvae uh, which is halting our food production so the way we deal with that is we tell drones to remove the larva and put it into a bin and then when that bin fills all the way up, then we can also tell them to put the excess larva into the, in, uh, just put it in the shredder. Turn our light on, man. It's dark. Okay, so let's do, let's go ahead and go back here. We're going to make an auto crafter. Good Lord, that's loud. All right, we're going to make an auto crafter and we're going to make a... That's funny how the storm is, is still all the way over there <laughs> where we were at. We escaped it. Okay. Um, well, it, the, the earth is still shaking, though, from the impacts. How funny. Gotta love these video games. Uh, anyway, all right. So we were, we're going to make an... Uh, an uh, no, I'm sorry. Did I say an autocrafter? A storage, not an autocrafter. Uh, we want to make one of these guys. So a circuit and two supers. So let's grab that first. Wait, was it a circuit and two supers? Or two supers and a circuit? A circuit and two supers. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. We never grab, grabbed any food while we were over there either. Okay, that's fine. Um, and we, we're also going to want a shredder too. Um, that's this thing. So we need... Super Uranium Oz Explosive. We need a Super, a Uranium, an Osmium, and a, a an Explosive Powder. Okay, so that should be everything to build a, sh a Shredder in another container. 
Uh, all right, yeah, let's go back there. Actually, let's see if the, how far along our weed is. I don't want our little dude to starve, man. Is it ready? It is 82%. Okay. Hang in there, Fred. We'll get you some food as soon as possible, buddy. Let's go back to the food farm. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, let's do it over here. How big is this thing? Oh, it's not very big at all. All right. So stick that there. And we will stick the locker storage here. Whoops. All right. So <clears throat> you will demand bee larva. Okay. with a priority of one you will demand bee larva with a priority of zero so so what will happen in, oh and enable this too uh, so what will happen is the drones will prioritize filling this up first and then once this is completely full then it'll start throwing bee larva in the shredder and that's how we deal with that situation. Uh, one of you guys mentioned that in the comments, and I appreciate the, that information. I I knew, I more or less knew we had to do something along those lines, but, you know, the little trick with the shredder and the priority uh, was, was very useful because I might not have come up with that on my own. Okay, let's just put all these guys in here for now. We are not going to have any shortage at all of bee larva. And... Um, hopefully we got a couple of pieces of food in here because I need food myself. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Let's take two. We'll eat one right now. All right, Fred, are you still alive? Where are you at, buddy? I just heard him. There he is. Okay. So a pet is almost as good as food. As long as we give him a pet, that'll keep him from starving to death until we can get him some food. It's a true fact. And if you'll buy that. Okay, <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, I wanna leave these growing here for now until I determine what we put in the food thing, but my, I'm guessing that we put any of this stuff in there. And if that is the case, then we need to keep growing these. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll put more farm plots out here for the cocoa and the wheat, because I wanna also start selling that stuff as well. Uh, well, more specifically, I want to start selling chocolate chip cookies. Right. Okay. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to get another drone station going. And I'm thinking, since we have a lot of activity kind of on this end of the map, we should maybe put it over here instead of at our base. Uh, at our canyon. <coughs> excuse me, our canyon base to be more precise. Uh, so, for to make the drone station itself, uh, where is that sucker at? Right here. We're gonna need all of that stuff. Uh, okay, yep, we, we should be able to do that. So let's see, where am I at? I've lost my own base once again. All right, we need three of these. We need an Oz rod. No, sorry, a super rod. Well, we do need an Oz rod. I was right, I was right the first time. And a fusion cell, I think I have, yeah, a couple extra of those in there. Okay, so that's enough to make the drone platform itself. Let's go do that first and then we'll figure out how much stuff we have to make some drones. Go back to the... We could either do this here or we could do it at... Maybe we should do it at the fusion cell production. I just want to take a quick look and see... Oh my god, that thing's full. Wow. That's full too. The Oz, however, is falling behind. Um, maybe we should, we should pri put some priority on these guys. Uh, but that's partly why I want to, um, yeah, see that thing is almost completely full. Uh, partly why I want to add some more drones because I, I think we have too much of a demand now. All right, why don't we put this drone station up here in... 
I'm thinking I think we take one of these down. Uh, I, oh, items inventory is full. There. Uh, because we have seem to have an excessive amount of methane going on. All right. And it happens, you know, when you eat too many beans, too. Just in case you guys didn't know that. All right. Let's grab the drone station here. We're going to put it up here. And we'll turn it around this direction. And... Maybe put it right there. Okay, good. So we're going to need rocket engines, circuit boards, and iron. Uh-oh. Let's go see um, how many of those we got at the moment, just on hand. We got four rocket engines. Let's grab four circuit boards and four pieces of iron. One. Two, three, four. Okay, while we're here. That's that's probably a pulsar meteorite. Are you guys done now? Haha, <laughs> you are, look at that. Okay. also pick these too because they, they're probably done as well all right uh, fusion cell production Am I making them? Oh yeah, I am. They're, they're immediately taken off as soon as I make them. Okay. So, uh, so we made four drones and I'll just keep, you, you can make up to, I think it's, is it 25? E, uh, yeah. Okay. So I'll keep working on making more drones as we go along. Uh, but we got started on that anyway. All right, let's go back to the food farm. And no, let's not. Let's go back to the canyon base because we left all the other stuff there that we need for the food farm. I did that on purpose. I was just testing you guys to see if you're paying attention. All right, let's go ahead and where the hell am I at? Go in here. We want you, 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 and you. It gives us everything we need to make the feeder. I hope Fred's still alive. If Fred dies, I'm going to be very sad because it'll be my fault. What kind of a what kind of a creator am I? I create an animal, then I let the poor thing starve to death. Okay, how big is this sucker? Nah, it's not very big at all. All right, let's uh let's just put it right here. Cause why not, right? All right, what do we put in here? I it, it, it does it tell us open animal feeder. Um, animals can eat food placed in the animal feeder. If animals are hungry, they won't give traits. They won't grow. They won't generate. They won't generate terraformation values. They won't generate terraformation values. Grammar. Animals can eat the same thing you eat. Okay. So, that answers that question. All right. So, let's grab some, some of this and some of this and some of those and maybe a few more of these since we have more of these going on. Okay. Come here, Fred. I got your supper. Okay, is he going to come over here and eat? Where did he go? I heard him. Fred, where are you? Oh, there he is. You got some supper over there, buddy. He must not have been that hungry. He's given us genetic traits. It said they won't do that if they're hungry. Did he already eat? Hmm. Maybe it just takes a little longer for him to get hungry. Okay, well, he's got his food. So we've done our part. Now it's up to him to eat. And drink, too. There's like a little water thingy down below. That's cool. 
So these are like little doggy dishes. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um. So, next thing. I want to make some... Um... Oh, you know what? We have to we have to buy more seeds, don't we? Uh, cocoa and wheat seeds. We don't. We can't make those. We have to buy them. Right. Okay. Let's go back here. And where? Uh, yeah. Let's go here. Oh, how much money do we have? We have, we have over twenty thousand. Okay. Let's buy one more cocoa and one more wheat. I'm assuming that um how did that get disabled? It's full. Uh I think I have to do this. Yeah, okay. I remember that happening before. That sound is weird. All right, so if we make a chocolate chip cookie, we need three of each. Okay, so at least the ratio is is uh, the same. So one flour to one cocoa. Um, all right, so that means I want a total of four uh, outdoor farms. Let's pin that. And so let's gather up all the stuff we need to make four of those. Bee larva is one thing we have plenty of, right? Uh, so we need four of these. Why do I why do I still have these in my inventory? Am I forgetting something? I'm probably forgetting something. Who knows what it is. Let's put that circuit board back in there. I'm just going to put the methane in here now for overflow. And the Zeo can go in here as overflow. Why do I have an iridium rod and, and all that stuff? I'm My brain's just not working today, guys. That's just all there is to it. It was kind of a... Yeah, it wasn't a bad day at work, but it was a busy day at work. And I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so that's my excuse. All right. Anyway, um, so we're making, yeah, we're making the outdoor farm. Okay, so we need f uh, four water. So let's grab all of those, and let's grab an, another water just so we have one on us. And let's drink one, too, because we're thirsty. Okay, we need f four black fertilizer, four green fertilizer. And we have all the bee larvae already over there. One, two, three, four. Uh, that was weird. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, I do need stuff to make an auto crafter too. Um, so that means two Oz's and a super rod. Two Oz and a super rod. Okay. And we're going to need eight of these guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's put the auto crafter down here. Can I get through there? Damn it, Jim. We want you to make chocolate chip cookies. And we want you to supply chocolate chip cookies. Um, where, where's the chocolate chip cookies? Wh uh, wait a second. Why am I not seeing chocolate chip cookies?
How are we going to have the drones load up the rockets if this can't supply chocolate chip cookies? Can we not use an autocrafter? Uh, I'm confused. What if we just tell it to supply everything? I, I can't, you can't scroll down in this list though, so. I, I have to assume that, what the hell man, I thought for sure. Okay, so I can make chocolate chip cookies, but it can't supply them. Well, that kind of screws me up then. I mean, if, in terms of at least fully automating it. Well, that's a bummer. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Yeah, there, there's no option here for supplying chocolate chip cookies. Well, I guess... If, I mean, if we're going to do this, we're going to have to manually transfer them to the rockets. All right. Well, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. I'm, that's a little disappointing, though. I'm not going to lie. A little disappointing. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's... um. I think I want to extend these foundations out one more. Because if I put the farms here, this is going to be really tight walking through here. Yeah, I think I do. And, of course, we need iron for that. One, two, three. Uh, is it four or five? I don't remember. Let's take six. Better to have too much than not enough. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, it's almost as if I knew what the hell I was doing. You guys really know that's not the, actually the case, right? It's just a lucky guess. Okay. Um, and remember to hold down control. There you go. I've been playing a lot of Satisfactory lately. I've been playing a lot of Valheim lately. And by the way, shameless plug. Come over and check out both of those series if you guys want to. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, but my point being is that um, I get confused a as to which game I'm playing, you know, in terms of what, what to press, right? Um, okay, so why don't we put the, uh, let's see, the outdoor farm. And I want to turn it to the same direction as that one. We have s another freaking storm coming in. I think that's just a normal storm. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. Actually, here, let's look at it from this side. Oh, you know what? I don't think I want to do this. Uh, I don't. I don't think I want to put that in the corner because. Well, uh, we'd, we'd have to kind of get at it kitty corner, which we can do, but I don't know, that feels a little jank. So I think what we'll do is, um, let's turn it this way. Put it here. Right, put this one here. And this one here. These aren't going to line up perfectly, but it's close enough to where I don't think anybody will notice. If guys don't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. All right, so, um, so we'll be able to put two cocoa seed and two wheat seed in those. And then this will make chocolate chip cookies for us, but we're going to have to manually come over here and load them into a rocket. 
I'm... Uh, I don't even know if I want to mess with that, to be honest with you. All right, what's going on over here? You know, the other thing I guess we could do, as far as I am aware, the, the small beehives do not produce larvae. I think they only produce honey. So we could just put a bunch of small beehives down and then we don't have to screw with this. Um, well, l let's just, uh, I'll keep an eye on it and I'll see how it does. See how it does. Uh, that means our seeds have come back, so let's go grab them. We need to eat too. Okay, let's go get our seeds. Oh, well, here they come. That's pretty good timing. I guess we can't... Oh, right. we got to take those out first. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave one of these in here. Uh, so that way we can make chocolate chip cookies in here as well. Generic frog eggs. Okay, let's go back and grab a couple of those uh, plant seeds that we put in here. I guess we just put the one in there. And we'll put you back in here. And we were growing squash over here, it looks like. Okay, so grab that squash seed. Here, let's move, put the squash there, and we'll put the cocoa here. Okay, so we have two cocos and we have two wheats. Let's also make ourselves... Oh. Oh. We have to first make cocoa and flour before we can make chocolate chip cookies. Duh. You guys are probably face palming right now. But you're used to doing that with me, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. We we're, we missed a step. We missed a step. Let's get this these planted first. So we'll whoop. No, seed. Yeah, there. Okay. Damn it, Jim. I got these all back bass backwards. Okay, hold on. Pull that back out. Put this right there okay now put a cocoa seed in this one put a cocoa seed in this one put a wheat seed in this one and a wheat seed in that one okay so we gotta first make chocolate and uh what was that flour before we can make cookies yeah flour all right, so with that being the case, um, let's pick you back up. I think I'm going to do do this over here just because we're going to get kind of crowded over there, and I don't like that the crafter right in front of our teleporter. Okay, so you will make flour. You will supply flour. If I can find it. Uh, um, does one auto crafter pull from another? It looks like it does. All right, so 
So this should theoretically... Oh, wait, though. It needs to be near the, the crop plots. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I think we better put them over there. It's probably in range, but I can't tell for sure because it doesn't specific specify. It doesn't specifically specify which crop plot we're talking about. That's gonna really make this crowded over here though. Um we could move. No, don't deconstruct. You're demanding bee larva, right? Okay, here. Let's take all of these. We could move these over to here. All right. Um, demand bee larva with a higher priority. Oh, no. Higher priority, yo. There. All right. You... Uh, where you at? Here. All right. You demand bee larva with a zero priority. <clears throat> there. Okay. So that gives us a little more room than um, within range of our, should be in ra within range of our farm plots. So let's put down uh, this auto crafter here. All right, about there. And we want you to make flour. We need to go, go get two more auto crafters. What do we need for those again? Oz and super rods. One, two, three, four. Osmium, two super rods. All right. So we'll put you right there, and you right. That's gonna pop. Yeah, you know what? I think that's going to block me. So let's put this one over here. Okay, we'll have you make cocoa. Um, cocoa, right here. Okay, so you'll make chocolate. Did we put... No, let's have this one do the wheat, because it's closer to the wheat thingies. Uh, or, sorry, the flour, rather. Okay, so you make the flour. You make the cocoa. And you make the cookies. Yeah. So, because this should be able to pull from, from the other auto-crafters to get its stuff. I just wished I could have the supply of chocolate chip cookies though, and I don't know why it doesn't let me do that. It kind of sucks. So we're still going to have to manually come and pick it, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Come on, drink. Why aren't you drinking? What the hell? There he goes. That's weird. Okay, so, uh, let's take a look over here. There's no larva in there. There's one in there, none in there. So I have to assume our drones are doing that. It's just that we we still kind of have them stretched a little bit thin right now. So I need to just make some more drones to help with the load. Uh, where's Fred at? There he is. Let's pet him. Look at that, man. A variant and a species trait. All right. What do we got going on in here? We have, um, we don't have a variant. So let's put that in there. Maybe Fred will supply us with all of our genetic traits to make the next animal. They can all be from him. 
Except for I don't remember the first few I had in here, how I actually got those in there. That's a species trait. That's a species. Okay, so we still need a color A, a color B, and a skin pattern color. That's a bioluminescence. Those are size. Okay, yeah, so I'll keep petting Fred, and when he gives us what we need, we'll put it in here. And, you know, if, if we don't get everything we need within a fairly reasonable amount of time, then I'll make some more too. Um, because we need to get going on animals. Speaking of which, let's just take a look and see where we are all together on our progress. Maybe we should make a... Where am I at? Over here. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, terraformation. 1.95. We have to get to 5. So, I mean, it's it's moving. It's moving. On animal rockets, probably a good idea. I don't remember. I think we needed three traits, a rocket, and something else. Let's just go. Let's go pin it. Oh, we need six traits. Hmm. Don't do I do I have that many? Let's go look. Don't remember. I know I can't remember shit today. It's just one of those days, ladies and gentlemen. One of those days. Um, food farm. Yes, we have six. Okay, so let's take a... I don't know what the fives and eights mean. I mean, I don't know what their significance is. So let's just take one of those. We'll take a couple of size twos and... We need a total of six, so take a size five, a size three, and maybe this genetic trait, and we'll leave those. No, let's actually do it that way. I'm just too new to this to have a sense as to which ones of those things are rarer than others. Maybe not. Maybe they aren't. Maybe they're all just, you know, totally random. I'm not really sure. Anyway, we're growing chocolate and wheat out here. It's a beautiful thing. You're going to be making flour. You're going to be making chocolate when the time comes. All right, let's go back to uh, the canyon base. We need to make ourselves a rocket. We're also finished with this, so let's unpin it. Uh, let's see. A rocket requires an iridium rod, which is... Where the hell is my iridium at? Pulsar, Obsidian. Um, oh, here we go. Iridium Rod, an Uranium. And what else do we need? Oh, two Uraniums and a Super. Okay. Okay, so that gives us our rocket. And then we need an Oz Rod. And a tier four muty, which I think I have. Not we can make one. Uh, yeah, we have a few of them. Okay, that's en enough to launch our animals rocket, which gives us a 1750% boost. Is that what it said? Oh shit, no, going the wrong way. What am I doing? I'm not drunk, I promise you. Just totally scatterbrained today. Um, let's have a bean. Top that off. Oh, I was going to make chocolate chip cookie. Never mind. I don't have enough wheat and stuff. Animal spreader rocket. <laughs> it's got fish inside. That's wild, man. It's going to spread the fish all over the planet. Cool. Cool. Goodbye, fishies. Bon voyage. Hopefully you can survive up in orbit. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, I wanted to let you know uh, that I have a very, very busy 
uh, work week this week uh, with my real job. And um, so this will probably be the only episode, uh, Planet Crafter episode, I'll have time to get out this week. Um, but we're not done. We're, you know, we still have things to do. So I don't want you to think I'm ending the series. I know it's slowed down a little bit, but that's just because... Um, you know, some other things have, have happened, uh, and I've started some other series that I've wanted to start. And, you know, part of it too, to be honest with you is, you know, we're getting kind of close to the end here and I, you know, I didn't want to just rush, rush through it. I want to stretch it out a little bit longer. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. Um, my plans, I'll, I'll just kind of let you know what's in my head, right? My plans are to do the warden quest line, which we might actually start in the next episode. Um, and of course, get all the way to the end of the game and make <clears throat> the the rocket, which apparently we can use to get off the planet. I haven't seen uh, what that's all about. I haven't watched anybody else do it on YouTube or read up on it. Um, so it's going to be a total, you know, new experience and surprise. So I don't even know exactly what it's about. All I know is that apparently, once we get to um, here, we have an extraction platform, and it says used to rejoin a ship in orbit so apparently we are you know our we finish our our sentence we've been pardoned and we're no longer um a con a, a felon or a convict or whatever the hell we were to begin with and we're free to go after we terraform the planet or however that works out i don't really know uh please do not tell me either by the way no spoilers absolutely no spoilers um because i do want to experience that for the first time and do that on camera uh, with you guys so so yeah, Warden's quest line is coming up. Uh, we have to get to to uh, five, uh, yeah, five TTI to do the launch platform, and then you know we'll, we'll uh, you know we'll probably mess around with some more animals and stuff. I never really did anything with my forest down there. I might still do that. I might not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so there's you know, I'd say a good three to five more episodes at least uh, before we're really truly done with the series here in the single player series. Uh, so just wanted to let everybody know that. Okay. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. See you in about a week. Bye-bye.